Hello everybody, I am back for another episode of The Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Ages. In this episode, we're gonna go to, I think it was Crescent Island, is what it was called. But, uh, pl I think there's plenty of stuff we can do uh, before then, but... Yeah, I, uh, I have a Gasha tree to check. Uh, we have our fancy feather, we're able to do stuff. That requires jumping. Hello. Speaking of jumping. Oh no. I'm not having a good time already. Um, okay. I guess this game isn't as, like, free for jumping as uh, Link's Awakening is. <laughs> uh, let's just go. Alright, Falling Rocks, Octor Rocks. Okay, this is kind of a difficult area to get to. Let's see if we can't be in the middle of the area. No, you're not. Mine. Yeah, there's a plantable area here. So we'll go ahead and plant the seed there. I was honestly expecting some better drops from a uh, maple there. I'm like 90% sure one of the rings that we have is the, uh, the maple ring. And uh, what that does is it allows us to meet maple the witch a lot more and that whole counter is based on how many enemies you uh eliminate i think the maple ring cuts that number in half i think you usually need like 30 question mark wow that sucks Let's see what this tree holds for us all right how many do we have? We do not have any more. Huh? I could have I could have swore we had a, another ring or something. I guess not. Well, either way. Uh, oh, hello. Always down for more seeds. Well, that's a, that's a portal, but you don't need to know that. That's another Gasha tree spot, but I can't get over there. Because the water's in the way. I guess we'll have to come back later when we can get across there. Okay, on the east edge of the town. So I guess that's where we need to go. So east edge, east edge. Mm hmm. Okay, I guess we're doing this now. Uh, 
That works. I could have swore I hit that, but okay. That's a good one. Slow pitch. Nice. Darn, I didn't want to hit that guy. Okay. That's a really good hit. 450 on the dot, nice. Sweet. I want to look at the prizes. How, how good was that, actually? Okay, ring, Gasha Seed. Oh, so we already we got the best prize out of that. Cool. Yeah, there's a there's no heart pieces in that. And what was that person saying? East side of town. Where? That must be it. Sweet, there it is. All right, let's go see what Cheval has to say. Cheval. <laughs> I'm researching items for using water. Before I die, I want to finish my work on flippers for swimming and rope that won't decay in water. I hope to aid all the people of the world by inventing such things. Okay, that's... Oh, hello. Really? Well, that's convenient. Alright, I guess we have to go back to the present. And then, yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm just I'm just suspicious of this area. It seems like the prime spot to have a plantable area, but it doesn't look like it. Okay. Rolling Ridge. I don't think we can do anything here. It's a very long gap. Uh, we can't go this way either. Okay, I guess we're going back to the village. <laughs> Never hurts to explore or check around. Just feel free to do so. Let's go back to the present. Hopefully we'll be getting um, an easier way to travel. That'll be nice. Let's go see if the Maka Tree has anything to say. Crescent Island in the South Sea. All right. Oh, hello. Oh, Ferrore, Oracle of Secrets. Wow, that's actually really convenient. Cool, let's see what's up here. I like these graphics, it's pretty nice. Just looking around on a treetop real quick. Hmm. I don't think we need any seeds, but cool. This is just a little f fun thing up here, I guess. 
great ferry up here. That's nice, convenient. Oh, you know what? I think, did we actually plant a gasha seed in the graveyard? I'm trying to remember. I think we did. I think being operative, but I don't know for certain. Let's go to Vasu first, though. See what he has to say about our rings. The Red Holy Ring. No damage from small rocks. Alright. This is the Red Luck Ring. Half damage from spiked floors. Well, that's strange. Usually I get the Maple Ring really, really quick in any of my other playthroughs, but I guess it's not going to be that way in this. What, if anything, is available at the shop? Hey, we can buy bombs. We do not need bombs. Either way, cool. Alrighty. I ordered a graveyard because we have some rope to find. Very specific rope. A rupee. I'd imagine it's over here. That one grave ahead of me looks really suspicious. And it's probably the only one that can be pushed. Oh, hello. How about leave the big winged bear alone? Thankfully, we can hit through trees. <laughs> Yes, I did. Oh, that's so cool. We got a bear friend, yay! You actually have to kind of tap pretty quickly. Oh. Get rid of these these guys. I don't like them. I imagine this is the grave that we need to be in for uh, whatever we need. Okay. Let's see. That might be... That's the rope that we need. By the look of it. So that's good. Nice find. Oh, so we're getting the both the flippers and the rope in here. All right, got him. Sweet. Yeah, so on levers like this in this game, if you grab it and tap pull, you pull it a lot faster instead of just holding it down. So, yeah. We can swim! Very fun. Then again, I need the feather. Very likely need the feather more than that. Sweet. Got the rope. I like how the grave replaced itself. Thanks, Moosh. Alright, let's go check see if I actually planted a Gasha seed over at that tree. I am actually curious. Yeah, I did. 
That is so lucky. Oh my lord, we got that really quick. That is... That is really, really good, actually. That luck, wow. So that's one of the most difficult heart pieces to get, I say. It's actually ridiculous how quickly I got that. But yay, nonetheless, that's one less thing I have to waste time getting. Now we just need to work on getting the heart piece from Maple. Because she's definitely going to have it. One of these times. And again, with her, I feel like it's the same rule for the trees. Whereas if it's a more difficult to get to location. Hmm. If it's more difficult to get to location, then you'll be more likely to get the heart piece. I don't see how, how that was the case for um, the graveyard. Because that's a pretty easy place to get to. But okay. that we need to go to the past once again so we can present that shovel rope to the raft maker I don't like that we have to go all the way around so many times to get anywhere with this let's go You know what? Let's take a let's visit Shovel real quick, since he's actually alive in this time. We'll see if he says anything about our f uh, flippers and rope. Oh, you're a time traveler. Must be nice. Cool. <laughs> That's actually, that's really, really nice. Somehow seeing you gives me hope for my future, or my research. That's, pretty, that's cool. But I got the thing, so. Wait a minute. We can go swimming now. Do we have another Gasha Seed? No, we don't. Okay. I'm still looking for that gigantic rupee that I was talking about a few episodes ago. Well, I would say a couple episodes, but yeah. Trust me, it is a thing. You just have to be really lucky to get into it, uh, get one. Anyway, let's stop digging holes and let's go to the raft person. That's it. With that shovel rope, I could finish my raft. Let me have it. Sure. Right. All right, so now we need to go find a chart. There you are again. Right. Unnecessary screaming is unnecessary. Well, let's keep going, I guess. What do we have for our trade sequence item? The uh, stink bag, okay. Just making sure it's not something we need to drop before we go anywhere else. You know what? The cool thing about this trading side quest is that it actually... I don't think it's required, but it actually follows the path that you take through the game normally. I need to adjust my headphones real quick. Hold on.
good. Think is operative. Not literal. They're sliding down the back of my head. That's so. Stay put. Still nothing. Maybe that's for later. Um, yeah, that weird guy we needed to go see is actually called Tingle. I do believe we had a little... Yeah, we can't do anything here, can we? And that's him up there. Hmm. Hello. Kangaroo buddy? Said he left his stuff by the beach, so let's head over there then. Wee. Hmm. Well, this dirt patch wasn't here before. Yeah. We have got Ricky's gloves. Kangaroo buddy! That's pretty cool. That this is pretty good. Cool. Link is in his freaking pouch. That's actually that actually looks so cool. Um, I mean, I guess Tingle Tingle Kulu Limpa. <laughs> um, yeah. Secret Island, huh? Sweet. Dingle, dingle, kulu, limpa. These are the magic words that Tinkle created myself. Don't steal them. I guess you found what you were what you're after. This is just between you and me, but I can't stand this guy, so I'll see you later. Cheers, Ricky. <laughs> Alright, now we got that. Let's take this C chart back to the past. And let's be on our way. For the record, I'm not really planning on doing an episode per, like a dungeon per episode. I'll get where I want to get to, and then we'll go from there. The fact that we've already been going for 24 minutes just with all this meandering. But, I mean, if I end up going through the entire next dungeon, that's whatever. You know, I'm I'm really glad we actually got the uh, Gasha Tree heart piece already. That was... Very, very unexpected, and I was taken aback for a moment. But, yeah. It really... I'm constantly planting seeds in my uh, in my standard playthroughs, like when I'm not recording. Like, it's it's been a long time since I played this game, don't get me wrong, but... the It would never give me the heart piece from the tree. 
and I had to wait until late game 90% of the time to get it. But that was like the other 10% that happened on the playthrough here. So that's really, really lucky. Alright, I guess we're going over to the island. Cool, I can still use my sword. Anything here? Doesn't look like it. Well, let, let's see if there's anything over this way first, because there is another couple screens we could explore. Oh, that's new. Interesting building. Looks like a library. All right, this is back over by the Black Tower. Let's see what's over here. Hmm, I can't do anything there. That's a pirate ship by the look of it, cool. I imagine that'll be for later. I haven't seen anything that'll let us get into that area specifically, but yeah, let's go back over here and let's go up this time. Hello. Um, there's, it looks like a storm is happening. All my items just got yoinked from my person. What are you? You took my things! I literally have nothing. What the heck? Um, okay. I guess we're on the island. By raft, nowhere to be found. That looks interesting. That's our seed satchel. Our shovel. Give me that back. Well, these things, they sound like scavengers. That was incorrect. Give me my sword. What gives you the right to take my things in the first place, though, is my question. Okay, we're going to have to come back in here, because I can't, I can't do anything with these boulders. They'll just get stuck on another one. Uh, one another. Let's try and find our feather, shall we? Or our harp or something. Well, I'm not really it's okay, but... Blue Octorox. This island is giving me Paper Mario vibes. Because, like, in the original Paper Mario and Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, you get basically shipwrecked. Well, you get to go to a tropical island. On, Paper, on the uh, Thousand Year Door, you get shipwrecked on an island. I'm not paying 50 rupees for that. Anyway, as I was saying... Thousand Year Door, you get shipwrecked on an island. And then the tropical island in the, the original Paper Mario is, uh, it's actually Yoshi. It's a Yoshi-bound island, so... That's pretty nice. We can't do anything with that rock, because we don't have our bracelet. 
I need my bracelet. That's for later. Well, obviously we need the bracelet, but... Right. Huh. Oh, cuckoo chicks. So cute. My bombs. It's got to be through there. All right. What do I need first? Okay, so we need scent seeds for later. <clears throat> Let's go get our bombs. We should be able to get our... I think we should get our seed satchel back. Be able to, anyway. <clears throat> I'm stuck in my throat. Yes. What is this? This is a Gasha seed. Yeah. Oh, you, he took my flippers too. Oh, that's annoying. At least we know where the flippers are. Ah. And I can't do anything in here because there's uh, probably a lot of swimming involved. Yeah, like I figured. So I guess we have to go get our feather. That's our harp. This part of the game has always really like irked me. I'm not really a fan of like recovery sections, but thankfully most of the recent Zelda games have uh, Opted away from that kind of stuff. Most of them, that is. Yeah, let's go get our feather and let's see if we can't do anything with it. I'm sure we can. Let's go get our seed satchel back if we can. But I neglected this wall here. Ow. Can't play if we can't lift meat. Okay, so we have to come back with our freaking power bracelet. Because this game is, I guess, in high requirements, requirements of that uh, item. All 
That's a diving spot if I ever saw one. <laughs> I'm now being struck by the input lag bug. <laughs> Yeah, don't take my things again, please. All right. I'm trying to figure out how to pronounce that. I think it's I think it's toke, but it could be 2k. But that would kind of insinuate needing to have two um two o's in there or replacing that o with a u, so all right, let's go get the power bracelet back. And then we'll participate in the uh, the meat chucking game or whatever. You must be able to lift meat. So much meandering. This is just one of those slow down your pace areas. That is a scent seedling. Let's go. Pass me to each toke that runs by on the left and right. If you keep give me to each one, you win. If you skip even one, you fail. Understand? Yes, I do. All right. I don't think this gets faster, but it does feel like it does. Sweet. I think the future prizes after you get the seedling are just rupees. Or rings, I could be wrong. There's not a heart piece that you get from that. So I'm not going to worry about playing that anymore. Each each consecutive time you get it, correct, um, it gets more erratic, the uh, association. Alrighty. Let's go see if we can't get our harp back, shall we? You know what? We might be able to get our seed bag back, too. Might being operative. Let's go. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do the dungeon in this episode. That'll be next episode. I'm just happy with all the gameplay I've been able to do, honestly. Right. So... Now that I have that back, we have Mystery Siege, which means we can get all, like, more of our items back. I do want to check, see if we can actually get over to that toke, though. That one, specifically. A quick look should reveal that, but I think we have to have the feather. Yeah. Yeah, we have to be able to jump, and we can't right now, so we have to go get our feather. All right, heading back. Preferably not in the levers. You know what? Let's go check out that chest that we saw in that one area. 
Well, no, we need the feather for that. I keep, like, skipping over myself for whatever reason. All right, let's go get our harp. A lot of backtracking on this island. Because we need scent seeds, and when we get those scent seeds, we'll be able to get the last of our things back. tired. Alright, this is where we needed to be. Let's go check out what's in that chest, shall we? Sweet. <gasps> no! I did not want to fall down there, and that was not on purpose. It is a gush of seed, sweet. All right, now let's go get the harp. Wait a minute, wasn't there another cave that had a chest in it? Or am I imagining things? I could have swore there was another cave. Like we needed multiple things to get into it also. Maybe I'm yeah, maybe maybe I'm just imagining things. No. We already got the thing in the basement, so I guess not. That leads up there. Alright, down we go. Moving platforms, always fun. All right, we are on the other side. Let's go. I didn't mean to talk to it twice. We don't have our shovel. We have to go to the other side of the island again. But luckily we can just push the pot, please. It takes too long to do that. All right, let's go to the past and get some se er, pen past. Let's go to the present. Too many P words. Really? A winding maze, huh? Cuckoos! I have to cook dinner for all the okay, but my dose is all stubbed up. If I cook, it will taste awful. Give him the stink bag? Yeah, here you go. Oh, what's that? <sniffs> that smell! Ah, hey you! <laughs> what was that? My nose stings. That was stinky. Stinky! That smell, it cleared up my nose. Thanks. 
That stink bag did it. I need it. It's unbearable. I'll trade you something really good for it. You got tasty meat. It's the chef's specialty. Oops, somehow I uh, didn't fix it. So well. <laughs> I didn't mean to play that. I meant to talk to... Hey! It's like double inputting that crap. You don't say anything different. That is a crab. This has to be a, yeah. We don't really need to do this anymore considering we already got the heart piece, but yeah, I'll just do it anyway. It's gonna be a really annoying place to get back to, but whatever. Let's go see if our scent seedling has uh, become a big tree. Hey, you, listen to me. Takes a long time for trees to grow. Same goes for that vine you climbed down. I'm sorry. That's the dungeon right there. Level three. Sweet. Ah, yes. Sweet. So the tree actually grew for us. That's got to be another tree there. <laughs> Cute. They won't. Real looking to okay. Okay. All right, back to the past we go. Got to get our stuff back now. I've got all my items. I don't have 10 cent seeds. You just charge me that many. Actually, I don't need bombs. I guess we're going into the dungeon without a... I'm not dropping 50 rupees, and I don't have 10 cent seeds. Let's head over to the dungeon anyway, and then I'll end off the episode. Wow. Oh, wow. We're almost at 50 minutes in. Jeez. I guess I'm having fun <laughs> if I'm letting a video go that long, but... Either way. Moving platforms. Wee up up. And up and over. Okay, we're good. And leaving. Alrighty. Next episode is going to be level three. If it wasn't obvious. I'm so happy we got the Gasha Tree heart piece out of the way. That would have been like a an episode reset to actually get the right thing to appear.
convenient. That is actually a really good placement for a great ferry. Crabs. Oh. Alrighty. Level 3 Moonlit Grotto. We'll be doing this in the next episode. So please join me for that. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video and you want to tell me that you uh, are interested in more. That's one of the ways to do so. Drop a comment if you have anything to direct my attention to or if you just have something, you, uh, something interesting you want to say. And uh, if you really want to support me, growth, and all that, consider subscribing. That's the easiest way to help me out and I'll appreciate it and any support that you can give. And with all that said, I'll be back for level three in the next episode of Oracle of Ages. Once again, thanks for watching and bye bye.